Hello, everybody. Welcome to the post-match press conference. Um, Scotland will be going first. We've got Richie Barrington. Um, can I ask everybody on Zoom to please raise your hand if you have a question? Um, and then I will ask you to ask it. So, anyone on Zoom for a question? Uh, the first few overs were probably hard, I guess. Like, uh, it's not often that uh, any team has so many left armers at the top. So, uh, was that a challenge facing up to the left arm battery early on with the ball skating on as well? Yeah, look, I thought they they bowled extremely well up front. Uh, obviously, to have a first over like that makes it makes it pretty hard to recover. Um, but I thought we showed a lot of fight through the middle middle overs there. Uh, just unfortunately, we couldn't get enough enough runs on the board to. To give us a chance in the, in the second innings. Uh, did the sort of conditions more challenging to bat, like because the ball seemed to skid on a lot more, and then later in the second half, your spinners came in to play a bit more with the lower bounce? Yeah, I, I don't think it was the, the easiest wicket to sort of get going on. I think you were probably never in on that sort of pitch. Um, and as I say, it was really important on that kind of wicket to try and get a partnership. Just unfortunately for us, obviously, Michael Leask, I thought he played really well, but unfortunately, we weren't able to get that extra sort of 20, 30 runs that we needed. And, and and despite all of that, like uh, you just took the game really, really deep. So how proud of you, uh, especially of the spinners' effort towards the death? Yeah, look, one of the strengths of this team is the, the character and the fight we show. And I thought we did that in the, the second innings. Uh, bowlers were bowled really well. Uh, managed to put them under pressure through the, the middle period there. Uh, as I say, just unfortunately, we didn't have quite enough to, to play with. Gary Healy. Hey, Richie, you've obviously got a, a few days off now before the New Zealand game. Do you know what the plan is? Do you get a couple of days off to sort of recover and relax you guys, or what's the plan? Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I think we'll, we'll probably take a couple of days just to to maybe get away from it and just reflect a little bit on the on that performance. But we've got a little bit of time now before we, we play our next game. So, yeah, it'll be nice to just have a couple of days together and just and just reflect and try and, try and move forward. Obviously, three three massive games against three three of the world's best countries. So, I mean, the guys will get excited for that. I'd imagine a couple of these time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, look, it's not every every day you get to be at a World Cup, so we have to we have to keep enjoying it. And you know, we've got some exciting exciting fixtures coming up, and we just need to keep believing and keep looking to improve. And you just you just never know. So, we'll look, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, Jamie Durant. With this kind of little bit of a break now between the between the games, is there anything in particular you would say you, you kind of need to work on, or maybe something that will kind of you focus on a little bit more after the kind of first two fixtures? Uh, look, I think we just we need a, a little bit of time to reflect on that, which we will do as a group, and we'll we'll look to see where we can improve. Uh, there's probably a couple of areas. Um, obviously, being being a few wickets down early doesn't doesn't make things easy. So I don't think we have to go searching too much. We just have to keep sort of backing our skills and keep being clear with our, our game plans. How impressed were you with, say, Michael Leask's all-round performance tonight? Because to say he kind of delivered with, with bat and ball. Yeah, I thought he was excellent. He's been in, he's been in really good form over the last month. Um, and he's, he's striking the ball as well as he ever has. So I'm sure we'll see see plenty more from him. And I thought the way he bowled as well, coming on under under pressure with not a lot to defend was, was great. You hope with kind of the three games you've got coming up, that can kind of bring the best out of the boys playing these this kind of caliber of, of opposition. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as I say, we've got a bit of time now before that next game, but it's one we'll definitely be looking forward to. It's not it's not every day, you, as I said before, you you get to play a World Cup, so we'll be, we'll be looking forward to those. Cheers. Um, the iPhone. Hi, Richie. Sorry, it's Graham McPherson from the Herald. I just wonder, given the optimism going into this phase, are there regrets with how these first two games have turned out? Because you were kind of really on a high going into this stage. Uh, I wouldn't say any any regrets. Obviously, we're disappointed with the last two games. Uh, we haven't played played as well as we know we can. Um, but for us, look, we just have to we have to look to regroup and just look to come back stronger. I think the thing about this team is we're always looking to improve. 
uh, and we'll certainly keep doing that. Thanks, Richie. Thanks. Any more questions? Nope. Okay. Thanks, Richie.